Hi everyone, my name's Pavel Kosenko, and in this video I'm going to tell you about a tool called Colorhead, which has recently appeared in the Dehancer Pro OFX plugin for DaVinci Resolve. Colorhead is a constructive part of an enlarger. It has a set of colored light filters for color correction when a picture is printed on photo paper. In case of printing from one film to another in the movie industry, special printer lights equipment is used. These processes are identical, so from the point of view of Colorhead's function inside Dehancer, it doesn't really matter. If you're curious about the details, you can find them in a special article that we've published recently. You can find the link to the article in the description of this video. And now I'm going to show you how Colorhead works in the Dehancer Pro plugin for DaVinci Resolve. Dehancer is a tool for professional colorists with many features for image adjustment. I won't spend too much time on every single one of them in this video, rather I'll go directly to the color head settings. This tool helps to adjust colors in the same way they're managed during the optical printing process on a real enlarger. This is how it works. If you color the light with a yellow filter during photo paper exposure, the image will be less yellow or bluer. The inversion takes place because we're printing from a negative, but the output is a positive image. If we lower the impact of a yellow light filter when printing, the light will be less yellow and the print will therefore be yellower. The rest of the filters function in the same way. If we increase the value of the magenta filter, the resulting light will be more magenta and the print will be less magenta, or greener. It also works the other way around. If we lower the value of the magenta filter, the print is more magenta. The third filter, cyan, works the same way. If you intensify the blue component in the light you're exposing the photo paper to, then the print is going to be less blue or redder. By lowering the value of the cyan filter, we're making the light less blue, which means that conversely, the print is going to be bluer. Dehancer's mathematical model uses instrumentally measured colors of yellow, magenta, and cyan filters found in a real-life enlarger instead of ideal digital values. Therefore, if we link all three sliders and set them to the same values, that's what the gang checkbox does, the color will nevertheless change, even though you'd think that it shouldn't be happening in a perfect digital world. This is because our model most closely approximates the real analog processes and works in a non-linear way, in a more convincing manner than its equivalent tools in DaVinci Resolve, Adobe Photoshop, and others. Another feature of the optical printing process is that color head filters not only change the color of light, but also affect the brightness. When we increase the filter's value by pushing them into the head shaft, the overall amount of light declines. If we pull the light filter out of the shaft, the overall amount of light received by the future print increases. Therefore, changing the value of color filters usually comes with simultaneous correction of the exposure. In Dehancer, we've provided a special Preserve Exposure tool, which allows for automatic compensation of the change in exposure and preserves the overall image brightness. This parameter has a default value of 100%. This means that changing the light filters doesn't affect the exposure. However, if we want to change an image's overall density as well as its color, we can set Preserve Exposure's value to zero. In this case, the behavior of the color head tool will be even more analogous. Increasing or decreasing the value of any filter would not only change the print's color, but also its exposure. At the same time, if we increase the light filter's value or push it deeper into the shaft, the overall light intensity decreases, which means that the final print will be lighter. If we pull any filter out of the head, there's more overall light, which means the final print will be darker. Another parameter you can adjust in Dehancer is impact. It controls the overall effect of color head's group of parameters. You can treat impact like opacity. It works in a similar way. Let's take a look at how color head works in practice. We'll take this footage and work on it. Let me zoom in a bit so that you can see better. Essentially, the basic image settings are already configured here. The input format and the base film profile are selected. The white and black points are set. The basic printing parameters of exposure and tonal contrast are configured. The film grain, halation, mild bloom, and the vignette are added. Each of these tools makes an image more expressive and more analog, if I may say so. The only thing I don't like here is the greenish tint, which looks like a haze. It seems to me that if we get rid of it, the image will become more varied in terms of color and more appealing. Let's try to fix this with the color head tool. 
Since I've decided that the image is too green, we'll use the magenta filter and lower its value. The image should now be less green, and it is. I won't lower the filter's value too much, that would be excessive. Note that even if you use the magenta filter alone, the image is already more appealing, but it's also turning redder and more magenta at the same time. So, let's try to lower the value of the cyan filter to make the image less red, like this for instance. Basically, I've completed my task. I subtracted the green tint from this frame, but I think I did it a little too well because the image is slightly cooler than I expected. So, I'm going to correct that slightly with the help of the yellow filter, like this for instance. Take a look. Before, after. Any color solution could be controversial. Some might like it, some might not. For me, it's important to be able to easily solve a task and get a good result. For instance, if this image seems too cool to you, you could lower the yellow filter's value even more, like this for instance. Before, after. I think I like this result even more. Let's take a look at one more example. This image is already configured with the basic parameters, but I reckon that it's too warm. There is a noticeable white balance shift here. Perhaps that was the operator's idea, but I'd like to balance out the colors. Let's do that with the help of the color head tool. The first thing I see is that I need to change the red component of the final print. For that, I'm going to use the cyan filter. Let's lower its value to make the image less red, like this for instance. Let me zoom in so that you can see better. Before, after. Now we see that the image is too green. That is why we're going to use the magenta filter and also lower its value, like this for instance. I like the color balance in this version a lot more. Once again, if we decide that the image has become too cool, we can either bring back the value of the filters to an extent or lower the value of the yellow filter, but I would go easy on that. Before, after. I also see that this image could benefit from increasing its density or lowering its overall brightness. To achieve that, I'm going to lower the value of the preserve exposure parameter. This would make the image darker because the light filter's values are lower in relation to the default ones. Therefore, the overall amount of light that's hitting the photo paper has increased, which means that the image should turn darker. This was compensated by the preserve exposure parameter but I'm returning its analog impact to an extent. Before, after. Of course, I like this version a lot more. Let's review an example where an image requires correction towards warmer hues. Of course, that's only in my opinion. We'll zoom in and work on it a little bit. The general settings are already configured for this image, so we can go to color head straight away. I see that the footage is not only cool in terms of the overall color balance, but could also benefit from increased density which is why I'm setting the value of preserve exposure to zero right away. Now, when I'm going to correct the color with the help of the light filters, the density of the print would also change. In other words, I'll be working as close as possible to how that happens during the optical printing process, from film to paper or print film. Okay, so I want to make an image darker and yellower. To do that, I'll use the yellow filter. Let's lower its value. I like the direction the color is taking, but I don't like that it's turning greener at the same time too. But that's okay, we'll now use the magenta filter to correct that green hue. Before, after. I reckon that we've made a leap in the right direction. I like this version much more. Perhaps the only thing left to clarify is when it's worthwhile to use the color head tool and how to generally treat it. The thing is, we can't avoid using color head in the optical printing process. The value of light filters are never at zero. Working with the color heads light filters is part of the printing process we can't avoid or bypass. It is with the help of color filters that we choose how to interpret a specific film and scene. From D. Hans's point of view, it's reasonable to treat color head as a tool for expanding capabilities of film profiles, not adding new features, but expanding them. That's because, with the help of color head, we can increase the number of color looks of each film almost endlessly. At the same time, the default color ratio and the film's default settings will always be preserved. That's because color head works in accordance with the analog principles. However, in case of correction of the color balance by DaVinci Resolve's standard tools, the initial color relations are usually lost. I'll try demonstrating that with a specific example. We have a portrait of a girl before us that I've already done color corrections on. Initially, it was too yellow and too dark. 
After I've used the color head tool, the image started to look more natural and film-like. I tried achieving an analog color ratio in a different version of this grade, with the help of standard white balance correction tools, color temperature, and tint. If you take a closer look, you'll see that the highlight on the girl's face has adopted a cool hue while the rest of the face still remains yellow. In case of basic color correction with color head, that didn't happen. The harmony between lighter and darker skin tones is fully preserved. That's why I recommend using color head any time you need to correct the overall color balance, except perhaps in cases when the white balance was set incorrectly at the time of the shooting, in such a way that might require major technical correction via standard methods. However, in most cases, color head allows for a much more aesthetically pleasing result than a regular correction of color temperature. I'll remind you of a very important thing. Colorhead is directly connected to film profiles and largely expands the capabilities of their interpretation. I reckon that's it for now. I hope you've enjoyed and found it useful. Like, subscribe to our channel, and of course, grade your pictures with Dehancer. See you next time. Goodbye.